Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Black Friday market crash on FIFA 19 Ultimate Team, when you should be selling your team and other things with the market crash. It's just going to be an overall guide. So first of all, before we get into the video, make sure you do subscribe. We are aiming for 4,000 subscribers and I'm also making around two videos a day so you definitely don't want to miss them. So going straight into the video now, as we can see here, a few players on the screen, for example, Gareth Bale, he has dropped around 40k or 30k just in one week and this is in effect because of the black friday market crash and there is still quite a few weeks to go black friday is going to be on november 23rd which is going to be the second last friday in november so this is going to be very exciting of course last year in fifa 18 we did have actually hourly lightning rounds for a few days so we had during so it would start around 6 p.m or 7 p.m 8 p.m on one day and it would end the next morning at around 8 a.m so that's quite a few hours with lots of lightning rounds in between them. It would usually be every single hour until around midnight and then after it will be every other hour. This was very exciting. I believe there was two type of these days. And of course, there also was flash SBCs. Those were very common as well. Those were coming out every other hour on some days, some weekends. And there's also weekly objectives, which has actually been quite interesting recently with, of course, foot swap and other things like that. Weekly objectives have actually started to be very important this year so the main question is if people should be starting selling their team right now or if they should still wait a few weeks play a few more champions league weekend leagues and then sell it so right now is probably going to be the best time to sell i know nick run the foot market did actually make a video about stop panic selling that he's going to buy most of the cards and of course he's an elite trader he knows what he's talking about but in my opinion right now people are still going to hold on to their cards for a few more weeks play some foot champions and after in a week or maybe in a two weeks it's going to be way too late to sell people are just going to keep undercutting each other because they're going to notice that they've played they've played the weekend league that they wanted to but you're not going to get that much coins from the weekend league unless you are a pro player or something like that which in that case you're not really going to be selling your team in the first place so if you're just a casual player your team's worth maybe around 500,000 coins to around 1.5 million or 2 million just like me my team's worth around 2.5 million or 3 million before and now i have of course sold it i've got a few players on my transfer list now would probably be the best time to sell just take the coins play it safe because you don't know what's going to be happening in the following weeks we never know if there's going to be another mini promo which could cause a mini crash before this black friday we don't know so in my opinion it's just a lot safer to take the coins right now as we can see some players on the screen here bail perisic they have been dropping quite a lot there's a few other players as well that will be coming up on the screen but some people have actually been claiming that black friday will make the players rise and some people have been confused because with division rivals and foot champions rewards it has actually caused increase in more like people buying these players because they've just got coins and it makes them it allows them to buy higher players for the following weekend league so for example in former mbappe other players like that they have been rising don't get me wrong they have been rising and that's usually what does happen they usually rise those type of players after foot champions rewards but this is not just going to be one set of rewards they're not just going to have a rewards and then you're going to be finished you're just going to be selling the players and then in a few hours you're going to be buying them this is going to be different flash sbcs you're going to continue doing these sbcs and then with those coins that you get you might not be specifically buying a new team you're going to be carrying on buying packs maybe with coins some people are going to be buying them with coins but also completing these flash sbcs because it's in the name flash sbcs there's a lot of them they're only going to last for around one or two hours and lots of people are going to be completing them there's going to be lots of price fix players and some people are going to be buying those price fix players so it is going to cause a few problems it's not going to react in the usual way of what division rivals and foot champions rewards does this is going to be a constant stream constant hourly lightning rounds and this is going to cause a real decrease in normal gold rare players some players luckily won't have such a big effect for example in my opinion inform ben Yedda, currently going for around 130,000 coins to 140 obviously he's going to be changing maybe he's only going to go down to around 90k or 100k because he is in quite a lot of demand and of course he cannot be packed anymore so these packs all it's going to do is allow more people to have more coins to actually buy him which could actually decrease the price 
quite a bit and also some people that have him they will be selling him to complete these SBCs and possibly opening packs. I hope this video helped you out. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.